All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and take a look at an interesting indie game that I've found online recently. And for this episode, as you can probably tell here by the screen, we are having a gander at Wayward Terran Frontier and I just noticed that those, oh god, I, I was about to call them clouds, but we are in space, so... Nebula or something? There's like some lights going on in there. I hadn't noticed that before. That is pretty cool. But yes, uh, this uh, game was recommended to me by a viewer and I thought I would check it out and uh, was quite pleased to see that this game just recently, as of a couple of days ago, successfully completed a Kickstarter campaign where it got about twice as much money as they were asking for, uh, which is just wonderful. So hopefully, hopefully this continues on in development because so far, what I've seen, I like. I like quite a bit. Now, this, of course, is a space game, as I said, and the idea of it is to become a, a sort of sandbox universe where you can explore, loot, pirate, trade, all of that sort of stuff. But the fun part about it is, is that you design your own ship, and that is what had me the most intrigued by this. Because, yeah, so many games like the uh, X series or Eve or anything like that, you're stuck with the really just whatever the ship is that you buy. Which, this game still has a little bit of that, unfortunately. But the interiors, you can just go crazy with. The exteriors, unfortunately, do look all the same pretty much. I mean, there's only so many exteriors, but you can really customize the interior of the ship, the shields, and all that sort of stuff that you have. So I'm quite quite intrigued to see where that goes. Now, at the moment, it's still kind of in a... Well, it's a test build, basically. It's more or less a glorified tech demo right now. And normally, at this point in a game's development, I probably really wouldn't look at it too much because it really is just design ship, test ship. There's no real sandbox to it yet. But I'm still having a lot of fun just you know, making ships and testing them out. So I thought I'd do a video, and uh, of course, as I always do when I do these Indie on the Rock series, we look at settings. And I am a little disappointed in this. Now again early stages of development, so hopefully this changes in the future. But at the moment, we really have two resolutions, windowed or full screen. And no matter which resolution you choose, this text stays weird. It's not just the uh, video you're seeing on YouTube making this text a little hard to see. The game itself, on my nice big monitor at uh, the full screen resolution, it's hard to read any of the text because it's it's kind of really low quality, blocky, and it's, well, in this corner. It really should be expanded out to the screen, etc. Uh, but it's not, and it's, it's an issue in the game as well. I'll point that out later. But again, again, early development build, so I can kind of forgive it. But yeah, this is all the options we have. Sound on or off, bloom on or off, show UI on or off, uh, hardware cursor, borderless mode, and this slider, I'm not sure what this slider does. I'm assuming sound, but it, it's not labeled. It's not labeled. So uh, maybe maybe go and do that. That'd be handy. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can change the camera here. But yeah, that's about, that's about it. That's all you've got for settings. So hopefully as development moves forward, this will get more fully fledged out. And uh, that would be glorious. Now we do have key bindings, but unfortunately... We can't rebind any of them. Again, early development. Hopefully in the future that will come about. But for the time being, uh, this is what we got to work with, which is, you know, not too bad. Not a whole lot of keys to remember, so uh, we can certainly deal with it. But let's exit out and exit. And, uh, yeah, the big thing about this game, as I said, is that you can make your own ships. Now, the catch with that, if we go to design a ship... Oh boy, this is one that's already made. Hold on, hold on. Well, uh, let's clear all. And, oh, actually, no, let's just exit, select profile, start a new one. And yes, in here, you make a profile, you can name it whatever you want. There's some random letters in there. And then you choose your hull design. And this is what your ship will look like on the map. And also will be what limits you to what you can build inside of it. 
but on the inside, you can do whatever you like, provided it fits within this whole design. So say if we, oh dear lord, that is a big ship. If we selected this one, it would be gigantic on the map and would always look like this. But the inside, if we just confirm that, will look well, boy, oh, though, that's this is a, this is definitely a big thing. Uh, here we go. There's the outline on the side. Uh, the inside we just have to build within this grid. And my God, this is a really, really big ship. Wow. Uh, let's just exit that and go into select a profile and look at one of the sort of smaller, normal sized ships. I think a good one would actually be what is referred to as the start ship, so I'm assuming once this has more game-like features, you'll actually be able to probably start with this. But we'll select that, we have to hit exit, and then go to design ship, and then it loads it up in here, and as you can see, uh, that is the outline of the ship that you just saw. And this is what the developers have built inside of this, which is pretty cool. And yeah, when you are building with this, you've got all these different things. You've got modules here, walls, conduits, structure, weapons, engine, power, and then various rooms. And you just go along and use the scroll bar to go between them. And you can see on the right-hand side over here, we have a dollar amount and a description of what it is. So this is like a private cabin for 420 bucks, a stellar cartography for 504, and it just goes on and on. And there are a lot of fun and cool little buildings, or not buildings, but rooms in this. And as I said, you can pick your weapons, you can pick your engines, your power supply, uh, modules, which include stuff like life support, shield emitters, all, and even a missile factory, apparently, which is pretty awesome. I, I assume this would be something you put on that ginormous ship, though, not a small ship of this size. And yeah, I like that you can just kind of do whatever you want as long as it fits within the hull of the ship. You can just make any any sort of variety of combinations of things. And again, eventually this is supposed to be a sandbox game. So you could gear your ship towards mining or gear it towards pirating with lots of weaponry and shields or a mercenary work or trading or however you want, you can you could reconfigure your ship. And well, we have some mirroring options. So uh, there you go, you can see if we put it here, it'll double it up on the other side. We have the power overlay, so you know that things are getting powered, which is very useful. Oh boy, I, I've i been having a lot of fun just messing around with stuff in here, and this power overlay is key because, well, it shows you that, yes, things are going to have power because it can be difficult to tell when you're using, uh, just say, these little, uh, oh boy, life support things and putting them along the ship or the uh, gun group selectors. You just got all these tiny little things that you got to kind of put onto the ship and then, of course, these gigantic large ones. And, yeah, it, it's good that you have these power overlays so that uh, you know where everything is going or if everything is going to be good. And, yeah, it's quite, quite cool. A lot of options. You can then add more crew. Uh, this ship's really only built for one crew because, well, you've got the run one crew quarter. So that's is, uh, a, more of a private ship for you. And let's actually head back out and go to select another profile to look at, like, say, this tiny little Pirate A ship that they have and go into here. As you can see, much, much smaller design of a ship. And it is just, you know, really, again, made for one person. It's basically, you know, the cockpit, a crew quarters, and a cargo bay. That is it. Uh, but, yeah, it's got some weapons on it, of course, and nice little engines back here. Very cool, very cool. Let's take a look at another one of these profiles. Maybe the, ooh, I, th I think I know, this uh, Shavala Emissary one, which has gigantic guns on this thing. Dear God. God, if we go to design, there we go. As you can see, a much, much larger ship. And uh, you can tell here that there are some sort of things that aren't quite textured yet. Uh, I believe it's a team of three people making this at the moment. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I, I may not be. But uh, this is, uh, you know, so they they've, may not have all the sort of things sort of skinned and textured like these here. But for the things that are, they look gorgeous. I mean, look at these 
intricately designed parts. I mean, sure, all these little bits are just copy and paste, copy and paste, just crap loads of things. But when you get to the individual rooms, there's a lot of detail in that cockpit. A lot of detail in, I think this is the stellar cartography. Uh, you know, you got the cargo bays, these big barrack areas down here, nice little single person barracks down, or, you know, rooms really back here, weapon control rooms, and just the gigantic power and shield systems, all very, very nicely designed. I, I'm really enjoying it, but if we uh, exit out of that one and go to test this particular ship, okay, so now we are in the game. And we are this little guy right here, and as you can see, it's telling us F to use for navigation. We can take control of the ship if we hit F right now. But uh, yeah, this is one of the cool things about this. Uh, y you're a person, and you can walk around your ship that you built and, say, access this cargo bay and take out that headset and put it on yourself and or pick up all of it and put it into your inventory over here. So that's, you know... S kind of a cool sign for things to come in the future where you might be able to board other ships and or walk around space stations things like that I, I see a lot of potential with that but for right now it's really just you know walk around access these cargo bays walk over to stellar cartography view the map with f and this is the map that you have right now uh it's quite a big map you can fly around it I don't know how many interesting things there may or may not be here because I've really only explored immediately around the ship. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty impressive so far in this stage. Um, oh, if we can, oh boy, it's really lagging trying to zoom in here. Let's exit it real quick. Oh boy, it's not exiting. Did I crash something? I may have crashed something. Uh, this seems to happen whenever I go into the map screen it really lags because I, I think it's just because there's so much stuff note to self if you are a note to any of you if you try out this game don't fly into these areas every time I've gone over here I've exploded instantly I don't know why but uh yeah, hopefully that'll be answered in the future. But yeah, that's the map system. You can also access it from in the game just, you know, by hitting the map. Uh, we have a gunner console here, so if we hit F on that, we can take control of the guns. Uh, which these guns are... Uh, ooh, I'm not entirely sure what these guns are, and I can't seem to fire anything. Hmm, intriguing. But yes, we are in the game now here. We are outside of a planet, just sort of floating in space. So let's hit the space bar to go back into the ship. F to uh, access one of these consoles, spacebar to quit out. Oh, and another thing, with uh, our person in here, we do have a gun right now, so you get the little red line we are shooting, which makes me very happy for the potential of pirating in the game. You know, maybe uh, use one of those small pirate ships to board an enemy vessel quickly and then, uh, you know, have at it in the hallways, shooting them down. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, this is another gunner console. I'm pretty sure this one works. Well, I thought it did. Hmm. You can kind of see the gigantic guns on this thing there. Yeah, there's like four weapon consoles in this ship, and I keep forgetting which one's which. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to be able to control these crew around. I, I don't know if that's implemented, but I can't seem to find a way to do it quite yet. I think this console works for the weapons. Ah, there we go. G four gigantic turrets that are very slow to move around, and you have to wait until those little white bars are fully charged up before you can... Oh, oh crap. They're not fully charged up yet. Okay, let's wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my god, they take so long to charge. They're very, very large, powerful guns. They're basically like a capital ship type of weapon here, and... My god, it's still not still not firing. Man, they take a while to charge. But while I'm here, we can go over a few other things, because we can't actually control the ship from this view, even though it's a weapon console, which intrigues me. But uh, if you left-click, you can turn the ship to wherever your cursor is, which is quite useful when you're fighting. Uh, you can also control it with WASD. Uh, w basically speeds up the ship. Uh, S slows it down, A rotates it to the, uh, uh, to the one direction, to the, oh my god, left, left, oh my god, <laughs> I'm forgetting words today, and of course D to the right just sort of spins you around, I prefer just using the mouse click to turn you in the direction you want to go, let's see if we can fire these yet, no we can't, intriguing, 
Oh, I think maybe I had it selected oddly. Yeah, you can use a... Uh, oh, God, which letter? Q and R to sort of cycle through weapons that you can... Oh, there we go. We fired. <laughs> Giant laser beams. But yes, Q and R will sort of cycle between the weapons that you can kind of use. Guns only. Uh, the huge red, which I believe are these gigantic guns. Uh, the missiles, etc. Which E fires the missiles. You hold down E, it fires all of them. Uh, but I still really haven't had much luck with the missiles. Let's see if these are charged up again. No, nope, no, nope, they still quite aren't quite charged. But yeah, they they charge very very slowly. Uh, but yeah, you can sort of fly around, speed up, and uh, this right now is sort of the tactical fighting sort of speed and controls you have. If you go down here to the travel drive button, you click that, and you go to basically mass acceleration. Look at that. We're at. 2.1 kilometers a second right now. And this is how you sort of travel between the planets in uh, the current map mode. So if we go down here, I believe there's another planet in this direction. And so yeah, you can still move around your cursor, use the... Uh... Oh, there we go. We are in another system now. There we are. Lots of lovely asteroids around. And uh, another glorious little planet. Let's get out of travel drive. And yeah, this is basically your fighting mode, uh, tactical sort of speeds to it. Very handy, very useful, but also very, very slow. The fastest we can uh, go with this particular ship is 99 meters per second there. So let's actually save and quit real quick and select another one of these. Uh, this is a ship I've been working on. It's crap, so let's not use that one. And select the start ship. I think that'd be a good one to look at. And go into test ship. Again, we can move around. We can shoot our little gun, though this one's purple. Uh, we can access cargo bay just as before. It works. It's all quite nice. But let's go into the cockpit. And you can see those little lines. Those are the guns. And these are sort of auto tracking guns. So if we right click... Basically just little turreted machine guns, and they fire wherever the little AoE cone, or not AoE, but just cone of damage is pointing. They will run out of ammo. They will have to recharge every so often. So if we shoot until they're out, you can see the bar going down over the guns. And then they're out. They have to reload. And bam, there's that one. Now, we can fly around this little galaxy quite nicely, at, as you saw with the little travel drive. Uh, but the only enemies I've run into are ones I spawn myself. If you hit the number keys, you can spawn a ship. There's a little fi a little fighter, and they will spawn wherever your mouse cursor is. So if we hit two, we get a slightly larger ship there that spawns. And, well, they're hostile and want us dead, which probably isn't the best of things to have in the world, but oh well. Ooh, yeah, now I'm getting attacked from two sides. Hopefully, hopefully these guys die nice and quick. Uh, yeah, this is since this is just a starter ship, it's not exactly very powerful. Uh, but it is effective. We basically have the same guns they do, though I think that one has some sort of missile. I think. I thought I saw like a small explosion hit me. But yeah, and this is essentially what combat is in the game. You fly around in this sort of tactical view. You uh, try and hit them. Of course, we've got the little extra targeting reticule to show you where to lead your shots. Of course, they are flying around in space. And I can see, even though it's sort of a simplistic sort of space combat system, I can see it being very fun uh, in, when you include into it the sandbox nature of the universe. And right now, the sound design for it, not exactly amazing, but you know, serviceable for the time being. Again, it's still in development, so hopefully they get some better sound stuff uh, in the near future. The engine sounds, I do like those. The weapons, like these guns. I mean, it just sounds like you're just plinking tiny little bullets at these ships. And that's... Eh, it's not great. You'd want a little bit more force behind them. Which, let's save and quit. Go to one of these other ships. I really haven't played with these. What are you, Boron? Go to test ship. Ooh, we got another lovely little place here. Uh, What's up this way? like we have the cargo bays. Nice. Oh, and the airlock. Yeah. Yeah. You can open the airlock. Let's hit F. The airlock is now open. 
and we have died. <laughs> it just amuses me that that is a thing in here right now, that we can open the airlock and kill ourselves. I don't know why that amuses me, but it, it does. So let's go to the cockpit here. There we are. And, hmm, what weapons do we have? I'm not actually seeing any. Missiles aren't firing. Guns aren't firing. Intriguing. Intriguing. I don't know what we would do in this ship. Oh, there we go. We have missiles on board. So yeah, we've got to wait for them to fire and... Oh my, did we kill them in that quickly? We did! We disabled that ship with one barrage of missiles. That... That is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna kinda... I haven't tried this before. Typically, whenever I've hit someone, they die. They explode. But this ship actually looks intact. I wonder if we can, uh... Dock with them somehow. Huh. Well, that doesn't seem to be working. Well, explode them. And... Boom! There we go. Wow, those missiles just keep spinning around and around, huh? They can't exactly hit the target. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Oh, yes, on the control-wise, though, you have more than just this camera view. If you hit V, you the camera basically follows your cursor, which is kind of cool. In a tactical sense, you can look around where the other ships are, and you can still control your ship, of course, uh, but can be difficult if you, like, take the camera all the way to the crap over here. Uh, hit V, though, again, and it centers you right back on uh, your ship, which is good and handy. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this game at the moment, at least in this build that you can download for free at, right now, because, well, they are hoping for a retail release of this. They uh, did a successful Kickstarter. They are on Steam Greenlight. So yeah, if you'd like to give this a try, you can download this version just uh, off their webpage or on IndieDB. I'll put links in the description. And it's definitely fun, definitely uh, a good time to just play around with this, especially with the building tools. And the fact that you can move around your ship. Oh, and also, while you're here, your ship is still moving out in the world. So, like, if we do this, sort of gain up a little bit of speed. There is where the, sh the fighter was. Move around in the ship for a bit. Go back out. You can see that fighter is now further away. So, things in the world do still occur. Which, actually, I wonder if we spawn a big ship. And I go in here. Oh, wow, I hadn't tried this yet. Listen to that. You can hear the rounds hitting you as if you were inside the ship. That is really cool. Now I have to kill you with missiles. Fire, fire the missiles. Yeah, it's not really doing a whole lot of damage to them, is it? And they are doing a lot of damage to me. But yeah, that is really cool. I, I like that you can, the sound on that. So that is a big plus for their sound design. Though it seems to have gone now. Intriguing. Oh my, that missile barrage seems to have disabled them. Wow, I... Wow, missiles are a lot better than I thought that they were. <laughs> I've been playing around with, like, the big laser cannons and, you know, the, uh... The sort of regular bullet guns, but man, these missiles... They are pretty wonderful. Oh, come on, come back. I want to try and dock with you somehow. I don't know if it's even possible. Hold on a moment. We need to try this. We, we need settings, key bindings. Shift is docking mode. Oh, then X to dock. Okay, okay. Let's, let's try this. I'm intrigued if we can. I haven't been able to successfully do it. So let's try and take you out. There. Oh, oh my. Their shots actually just shot down some of the missiles. And E. Come on, fire the missiles. There we are. Just two missiles this time. Hit them, hit them. Still not disabling them. Oh, no, I think they might be disabled. They're just sort of spinning around. Oh, so, oh, I think I see it. Yeah, when I hit shift... We get a little green thing here, and they have a little green thing there, so that's where we can dock with. 
Oh, God. So I've got to, like, properly disable them or else I'll never be able to dock. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Come on, one more missile. I want them disabled. They're just sort of spinning around now. They are slowing, so I think we may have them. Or not. God, I just wanted to try this. Fire another missile. <laughs> I'm going to explode them, aren't I? Okay, so, yeah, I fast-forwarded through all that because, dear God, this took forever. I had to end up... Sp I couldn't see the other ship we had docked with over here uh, because of all the smoke. So I spawned another. We successfully did it. So I'm going to see if we can actually go on board the thing. I've got my little laser gun here, which is good. Okay, so we boarded the ship and it crashed the game. So I don't think that that is fully implemented yet. But uh, yeah, that'll be cool when they do. Dear God, it took us that long to get to board that ship and it crashed on us. But oh well, c'est la vie, what are you gonna do? Uh, but yes, uh, definitely go check out Wayward Terran Frontier. Very cool little game. I cannot wait to see how development moves forward on this. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always... Have a good one.